All right, Aliche, another issue. Gotta figure this stuff out. So we've got the brass connector for the pressure regulation. Everybody told us to buy. We got the fancy hose hooked up. What we wanna do tonight was fill up our fresh water tank as we're going on a longer trip. But you can see, as soon as we go to turn it on, un underneath, um, you're gonna see right there, go ahead, and out she comes there. So we don't know what's going on, but that's not good. So any ideas? Any ideas how we fix this one? Okay, you can see there, it's coming right out that plastic hose. dealer messed us up twice here they didn't mention anything about that all right so this uh, video is for our beyond 22c owners uh and what we're gonna do is this one's not about entertainment this is about helping you out so we're gonna give you the conclusionary takeaways and uh if you want to watch the rest of it you'll see how we ran into all the issues but uh first takeaway is as you can see we're in the back of the van and uh, back here, what we had is the water hooked up uh, to fill up the tank and it was leaking from the bottom of the van. So we had to figure out what was wrong and all you simply do is open this up and you can see here that you've got a big fresh water tank. It goes for most of the back here. It's pretty cool and it's inside the van, which is super awesome, especially winter time. But um, here you have a valve, you can see it, and that valve needs to be shut off. Ours was open, so all we were doing was filling the water tank and it was coming out the bottom. And we were like, oh no, we got a leak, but we didn't have a leak. Uh, the dealership just didn't shut that valve off, and nor did they tell us about it. So in any case, uh, that one we figured out pretty quickly, and uh, all you do then is just shut that off close this up and then um, move to the front as then we had to determine now that we've got hot water how can we get it to work and or now that we have water how do we get cold and hot water to the sink and then the water started leaking from the front of the van so oh. okay so last night uh, we determined with the water leaking out the back when we had it hooked up to fill up the fresh water tank that we had some kind of issue. We figured that out on our own. So we got the valve shut off. So clearly the dealership, when they dewinterized it, uh, just left the valves open and didn't close them. So we got that closed. We were able to fill up the tank, all good. So then we decided to go with the continuous water. And um, obviously, because we're at a campground, and then we got a leak underneath the van, underneath the kitchen area coming out. And we did the investigation there, and it looks like we've got uh, two more valves down here by the water heater system underneath. So after trying to get through the front, through the drawers, obviously you can't get to it. So we're gonna end up taking off this panel. Come on down, Come taking off this panel here, and we're hoping that this is the issue, and we're gonna take this off and shut those valves, and then everything will hopefully work and uh, it's just a shame that the dealerships didn't do this for us because we had to borrow a screwdriver from the KOA in Savannah and she took care of us, Vermont girl, and uh, she knew, knows right uh, where we're from in New Hampshire, so she's uh, hooking us up. So uh, stay tuned, let's see if we can get these valves shut off and uh, here we go. I oh, think he's... You're good? Yeah, I think he is. All right, yeah. you ready to try to figure this out? Yep. 
let's get going. Okay, that's all good to go. And you can see we the power worked no issue with the electricity last night. And over here we have our little surge guard on there coming out on the 30 amp. Dog bone comes across, that styles in. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Turn it on. Okay, you can see there, it's coming right out that plastic hose. And there she comes, right out the plastic hose. So we've got to figure this out. So in conclusion, on the front part of the van, you actually have to remove this grill from underneath your kitchen area, the galley. Um, and in order to do that, you got to uh, take out four screws and uh, the top screws were super easy. As you can see, they have a piece of trim here for that. The bottom screws were really difficult. You got to put a lot of pressure against it Otherwise, you'll strip them out. This is going right into the hard cabinetry that's um, varnished, so not easy to get those off. But in any case, we came back in here and we were hoping for just two simple valves. And that looks like all the valves were shut off properly, with the exception of this valve. And this goes, and it is exactly where the leak is below the van you have the small tubing and that valve is shut off which is correct uh, but on the larger tubing where it was leaking we had to turn the yellow valve from this to this so when you do that um, it stops leaking from outside the van there so now we're hoping that we can uh, get with no more leakage uh, we're hoping that we can actually get uh, this to fire up and get some hot water. So there's your lesson of the day. Go ahead and watch the rest of the video if you want to have some fun seeing what we dealt with. But uh, overall, that should help you out if you're in the same situation. And uh, there you have it. So one other recommendation here, I would tell Nick and the boys, put another autoker on that tubing on the plastic. It also seems like we're missing insulation in that section right there. Okay. Got water. That water works. All right, let's do it. Let's get Okay, did you turn the AC? Okay, there we got the AC off. So now maybe everyone can hear a little bit better. We're still rookies at this, but uh, we're figuring this thing out. And now we're going to come over here and we've got the controller and we're going to hit on hot water. Eco hot. I say let's do let's do hot just to see if we can get some hot. Let's get going with that. And uh, here we go. Let's see what happens. Hot water? No? We got pink in there also. So basically nothing was dewinterized. All the valves were open. I don't know. They, they should have run a clear water flush, I would have thought, and then closed all the valves properly. Okay, so this is like the game of Clue, and now we don't have any leakage, and you know, it looks like the dealership only did half the job, but in any case, so we were able to get water, no leakage, but no hot water. We turned on the hot water, and our guess is it's this valve right here going into the hot water, so we're gonna turn that on. Looks like they never opened that back up after dewinterizing, which they really didn't. Uh, it looks like they only went halfway through the dewinterizing process. So it looks like they emptied out the antifreeze, but they didn't do the flush and then get everything primed back up for us. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one and let's see if it works. Okay, so now I've turned this on and let's see if we can get some hot water out of this thing. 
Okay, we got some really nice hot air coming out of the Truma, and uh, we don't have the heater on, obviously, so uh, it looks like it's heating that water up really nice. Let's see what happens next. All right. Are you ready to try? Hot Let's water. Use the what? Ooh, it's really hot. hot. <laughs> All right, very good. Well done. I have to say it. You between last night and this morning, you actually solve a lot of issues. I have to give you credit. You prove it wrong to whatever people. They just say that you are not good with mechanical stuff. Hey, who says I'm not good with mechanical stuff? Uh, people hey all right so we worked out all the issues leaking in the back of the van leaking in front of the van getting the hot water so if you own to be on you should be all set with this video we <laughs> taught you <laughs> we might as well be maintenance people at your local RV dealer so seems like we're doing a better job than those guys but in any case enjoy and watch the discovery bus as it travels around north america and we make you some great videos and motivate you to get outside <laughs>